Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Warhammer 40,000 with Zebu Nation and today we're going to continue our series on terrain and the different types of terrain you can buy for 40k. Now in my previous videos we've almost exclusively looked at Games Workshop terrain. You know their high-end plastic terrain, it comes in their box sets. It's pretty much the most expensive terrain you can buy for 40k you know outside of maybe commissioning your own terrain pieces from a, a terrain maker and you know you have to pay for their time and their skill and you can spend hundreds of dollars on that type of terrain if you really want to but outside of that ter games workshop terrain is pretty expensive you know you're looking probably minimum sixty dollars for a set of games workshop terrain and then you know outside of that the prices just go up you're looking at 80 100 you can even go as high as over a thousand dollars you can buy terrain sets from the games workshop website so there's a huge range of prices that you get from games workshop now it is all high quality stuff and it's plastic so it's stuff you're used to working with with your models but what I'm gonna do in these videos coming up is we're going to look at some options some different uh, choices you might have outside of the games workshop terrain and so we're going to start today on basically the other end of the spectrum from the high-end plastic stuff that's really expensive to basically the least expensive terrain you can get which is what you see here in front of you and this is 3d printed terrain now there's all kinds of retailers all kinds of little startup companies that sell and manufacture 3D printed terrain because basically all you need is a pattern and a 3D printer. And if you've got sort of the wherewithal to start a business, you can start selling this terrain. It's, uh, it's not an incredibly difficult business to get into, so there's lots of options out there. Now for me, I've purchased this stuff that you're going to see today. I purchased this from Amazon. Uh, company called Ender Toys, 3D terrain company. Um, they may be just a reseller. I'm not exactly sure. There's a lot of resellers on uh, Amazon that just either buy this stuff or make this stuff and just sell it through Amazon. But that's, the, that's as far as I know about the company, Ender Toys. Now what we have here, we have a, two, we have a pair of two-story buildings, two-story sci-fi buildings. And these were 15 bucks a piece. So that's, that's a pretty decent price. You know, for $15, you get a pretty decent sized building. It's well printed. You can see there's not a lot in the way of mold lines or anything. It has some interesting detailing on the, um, on the floors and it's got some grates. So it's got, it's got some interesting stuff going on. You can see the plates on the side to give it that sort of sci-fi feel there there's a door on this end you can see and um, you know I'm pretty happy with this terrain now I have base coated this terrain in gray you can see it here and I've put a little uh, a scion here an imperial guardsman there for scale you can see the size there it's it's pretty good this is you know it's listed as 28 millimeters so it's gonna give you the size you need for 40k and that's basically what you're looking for. You're looking for 28 millimeter terrain. Most of the terrain will be labeled that way or it'll be labeled as 40K terrain. And that's pretty much all you need to know other than price and what you're looking for. You know, you're looking for sci-fi and then it depends on what you need. For me, I'm mentioned in the previous video, I'm looking to get into an urban conquest. So I'm looking for buildings. I'm looking for stuff that would be in a city. So this, this is what I went with. Now, for more scale, we can bring in a larger model here. And here we have a Tau Ghost Keel. You can see the scale representation there. Now, depending on the rules that you use, this could be pretty decent line of sight blocking terrain. You can kind of see around it. You know, you can kind of see above it. But for the most part, if you're hiding behind it, nobody on the other side is going to be able to see it. So it can even block pretty good sized miniatures. Now, if you've got a, a Titan or something like that, obviously it's not gonna block it, 
but up to the large size miniatures, it can, it can do a pretty good job of uh, line of sight blocking. Now there's other choices that I got from this, this company. We got some ruins here, and here's what the terrain looks like before it's base coated. It came in this white, this white, uh, not resin, but it's the 3D, uh, the 3D plastic that it comes printed in. And it's pretty solid, pretty sturdy. And we got a pair of these ruins here. Got a pair of these for 10 bucks. And as you can see here, you know, again, it's pretty tall. It's pretty good at blocking the line of sight. And as you can see, the price of that is pretty good. It's hard to beat that when it comes to just some knock around terrain that you might need. And, uh, you know, Again, the scale, 28 millimeters. We can stick the Scion right inside. You know, the scale looks pretty good. It fits pretty well. And it does everything you need it to do for terrain. And there's just a ton of options when it comes to 3D printed terrain. You know, there's, there's so many patterns out there available, so many companies making stuff. Here's another, so just some scattered terrain that I got, some crates and barrels. You see down here, again, the size is pretty good. You can see the, you know, it works pretty well, especially for a campaign where, where this kind of stuff counts, where, where, you, where you take into account the terrain more than you would a normal 40K game. So Kill Team, and urban conquest they allow you to use the terrain a little better so so items like this can be really handy because all of this counts as line of sight blocking terrain and will give you certain cover saves depending on you know if your model is behind it and again these crates 10 bucks for all these crates and barrels it's, you know it's enough scattered terrain for for a couple of places for models to hide so that's the difference in terms of price you're looking at Again, just this sort of thing with a couple of ruins and some scattered terrain, maybe one big building, this would be 60 bucks from Games Workshop. And here we're looking at 30 bucks for all of this. So it's, it's basically 3D printed terrain, kind of works out to half the price of Games Workshop. So that's basically, you know, what I wanted to say about 3D terrain is it is decent. It's pretty good, especially, you know, if you're going to paint it up, it doesn't really matter what it's made of because you're just going to paint it up anyway and it's going to look like whatever you want it to look like. So, again, these crates and barrels came, came in this stock white here and I just base coated them brown and they, you know, they look like crates. What can you say? That's good enough for tabletop. You could paint it a little more. You could paint some metallics on there and make it look even better. But for the most part, you throw on a base coat and the terrain is fine. It is absolutely fine. So I'm a fan of 3D printed terrain. This is really my first foray into it and it's, uh, it's done me pretty well. So I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with the price. I'm happy with the quality. You know, it's, um, yeah, it's pretty decent. So don't be afraid of 3D printed terrain. You know, make sure you get it from a reputable dealer. That's why I went with Amazon. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Next, we're going to look at, um, we're probably going to look at resin terrain. Slightly different, slightly more expensive, but you get even more options. And there's even like more professional resellers of resin terrain as opposed to 3D terrain. So there we go. We're going to end it here. Next video, we'll take a look at more terrain. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.